Nigeria is the indigenous home of over 40 million Igbos. But there are countries in Africa and the diaspora where you will find a large population of Igbos. One of them is Equatorial Guinea. In Bioko, Equatorial Guinea, Igbo is the fourth largest tribe and the fourth most spoken language. Bioko Island, formerly known as Fernando Po, was named after the Portuguese explorer Fernando Po, who sighted it around the year 1472. As of 2002, four languages were spoken in Bioko and they include Bubi, 58%, Fong, 16%, Fernandino, 12%, and Igbo, 7%. The Igbos of Bioko, as they are popularly called, are said to be over 50,000 in number. How they arrived at Bioko Before the Portuguese took charge, the native Bantu-speaking inhabitants of Bioko, the Bubi, are believed to have colonized the island about 2,000 years ago. In 1778, the Spanish crown took possession of Fernando Pa in Equatorial Guinea, from the Portuguese to develop an aggressive presence in the West African slave trading networks. But following the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade by the British in 1808, there was pressure by the British government on Spain to leave the slave trade. Unfortunately, the Spaniards had other plans which involved importing slaves from the Bight of Biafra located in present-day Nigeria. The main reason for their choice was its geography, it allowed slave traders the opportunity to conceal their operations. After the fall of the Great Oyo Empire in 1820, the Aero Confederacy had a monopoly on the slave trade in the regions known as present-day Nigeria. They shipped slaves from Arachukwu in the Bight of Biafra to Fernando Pa to work in Spanish plantation, during that time, the Igbos there named the place Panya. Also, during the Nigerian Biafran Civil War, children were said to have been airlifted from Nigeria to Bioko. Bioko is also home to descendants of liberated slaves. Popular dishes in Bioko include succotash, bilola, or sea snails, okra soup, okro, served with cassava, etc. Just like the Igbos in Nigeria, the Igbos of Bioko are predominantly Christians, but people with traditional beliefs still exist. Hope you enjoyed reading this. To enjoy more topics on African history, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. See you later.